Good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm looking pretty cool today. Nope, just took my first dose of Kepra for the day. 500 milligrams. Let's see how it's gonna make me feel, but I'm actually getting a shower today. Woo! One of my friends came to pick me up. I'm gonna do something today. Just get out of the house, get my mind off things, and just sit in a cool car though, not get too hot. But here he is, Stu. started to keep like a little log on how this is like making me feel and shit. And I'm making like a YouTube series. You're in it, Stu! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, YouTube! YouTube! StuTube! <laughs> so lucky to have friends to keep my spirits up, man. Yeah. Hell like, yeah. People to do this. Do some tea. Do some tea. Instead of saying choo choo, I'll say choo choo. So, what I was looking for is not here. Failure. But we'll find it. We'll find it, bro. Stow. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Found Bed Bath and Beyond. It wasn't in the mall, Stews. It wasn't. We asked a random guy who didn't know what he was talking about, and then this lady came out of nowhere, and she's like, oh, it's over there. And I was like, oh, this is over there now. Go that way. Do the two with it like this. We found it. Success. After two days like of looking. big. We got it. <laughs> it is. There it goes. Look at this line, bro. Look, like how this. Big, look how big this stew is. Like this, Docenti Kitty. Like this, Docenti Oliver if you're watching. <laughs> Docenti everybody, but we found it dude. We found it, I'm so happy. It took two days but we got it. On new days. On <laughs> <laughs> bed bath and the stew, doing the two. Oh my god. Anyway man, I'm feeling a lot better now. We're good to go. Yeah. We're gonna go get something to eat now, stew. Hopefully. We're gonna go get fat. Eating all this stew. Yes, stew. What give bag, bro? That? On the app. <laughs> I think I just need like a solid, a solid, a solid code. Stew. Let's go Solid get stew gift bag. Let's get it's hot. <laughs> when a stew get an attitude, hit him twice like it's hot. <laughs> twice like it's hot. Oliver, you're a stew. <laughs> Oliver. Harry Oliver bars. Ooh. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, why? <laughs> oh my god. This 37, 36, 37, 36, 37, 36. Just a Ooh, black, get a black one. one. Black bags matter. <laughs> good. How's it going? Good, good. Um. Oh, I talked to the neurologist this morning. They took a look at those uh, films. For the most part, you know, there was they agreed that there was like a Dandy Walker type malformation. Gotcha. Assist thing, you know, in the back, mm -hmm. um, which is one reason uh, you may have had a seizure. I mean, those things are associated with seizures. Um, there was that spot that your dad had mentioned as well mm -hmm. um, on the top of the skull where there was a little bit of um, extra. Um, contrast that leaked out. Okay. Now, the neurologists here were um, a little bit puzzled by what this was, um, but we can see it in um, certain instances, especially in uh, people like yourself who have the large congenital nevi. Okay. Where there's basically nevus that grows on your brain, actually, like in the um, on the surface of your brain. Oh wow! Okay. So sometimes they can cause seizures. So. The radiologist have been talking. Okay. Um, and we think it's probably a good idea for you to get an MRI of the rest of your central nervous system, which means that you'd get an MRI of your spine, basically this time. That's with and without contrast. Okay. Um, and probably you're not 
probably not gonna like this, but a lumbar puncture. I think you've already kind of prepared yourself for that, though. What is that exactly? A lumbar puncture. It's yeah. a spinal. T- it's another name for a spinal tap, which uh, means that they would numb up your skin, basically, mm-hmm. um, and then put a, a, a really, really thin needle into the um, into the sac that contains the spinal fluid. And the reason for doing that would be to see if there's any of these mole cells and to look at them under the microscope if there are mole cells there to see if they've if they're you know on the benign side of things or if they're on the malignant side of things the other thing that i want to make sure to do while you're here on that day is to get like a full body photography for you hooked up to a computer and it takes you know you have to do all these goofy positions basically mm-hmm. um standardized positions and the digital camera will take all these pictures of your, you know, you know, your arms, your legs, your chest, back, and it kind of directs us because you have so many spots to look at. Okay. Um, that it like will help us know what spot in particular has changed, which will be helpful for us in the future if we're going to try to catch any suspicious spot early. So I think that's something important to do. Okay, but and, from your perspective right now, you don't know that anything is concerning yet. That's correct. So the the spot that uh, of that extra pooling of dye on the top of your skull is abnormal. I want to make that clear. It's not something we normally see. Okay. But we don't know what is causing that. It could be um, the the leptomeningeal, which is basically just the 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 piece of um, brain tissue that kind of covers a brain proper mm-hmm. have those mole cells in it but we don't know if that's if they're like benign or not benign cells okay uh, uh, basically metastases that go to the rest of your spinal cord that's why we need to do the imaging for that too okay so but you've not been having any like weakness or no dizziness or if you're curious the thing that i'm thinking of basically is it's called neurocutaneous melanosis and it's a common a relatively common thing in people like you have the large extensive nevi on their body okay um oftentimes it causes no problems at all but we just want to make sure you know be extra careful since you had a seizure we got to make sure that we kind of you know dot our eyes and cross our t's so i mean I, I wish i could tell you that it was completely stone cold normal but um we don't know exactly what we're dealing with quite yet here so um but we'll find out soon you know, we'll, we'll do the, the MRI and also um, have the, the neurologist hopefully do that spine tap. But, yeah. Okay. We'll have, we'll, we'll have a much more complete picture then. All right. I, I think that's good then. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All righty. Um, yeah, feel free to give me a call. Um, if I'm not at this number, you can call. All right. Any other questions? Not, not that I can think of right now. Okay. Just hope it's all going to be good. Yeah, yeah, I hope so too. Okay, I know it will be. It'll be all right. Okay, good. good. All, right. <laughs> all right, take care. Yep. Yep, uh, bye-bye. Bye. That was that call, guys. So, we'll just go from there, I guess. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll all be good. I promise. Alright guys, so you heard that call earlier. That was just the doctor following up yet again, just explaining what we're going to do next. I'm honest, I'm feeling pretty positive about it all. about to go out with some friends tonight to eat, get my mind off everything, and get back in the gym within the next couple days. It's not going to stop me. Somebody wants something. Something's intervening right now and it wants to stop me, but it's not going to. It is, no, not going to. So with that said, guys, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like, share this, share my journey, subscribe to it. Hit that thumbs up button. Just be with me in this. And I'm with you in anything. I can't. I can't even formulate words right now, but thank you guys. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.